Welcome back, friends. Okay, I got started without you. Uh, but that's okay, because this has been like a two-day ordeal, and I'm sure that you didn't want a two-day-long video. I mean, maybe you do, but um, I don't think that I have the bandwidth to make a two-day video and upload it. So, this is the Half-Ass Crafter. I'm Laura, the Half-Ass Crafter, and we do Half-Ass Crafts. I also do Half-Ass Introductions, because I forget that you have to, like, do that. Anyway, here we are at the jelly plate with all of this wonderful stuff around me. Uh, I got my little uh, horsing around mug because I'm just horsing around over here with this, well, with all these paints and this plate and I got some mark making tools here, all sorts of things. We're gonna have some fun. Uh, I've already started. Uh, as I said, I've been doing this, this is my second day messing with this. Um, I started by making a bunch of backgrounds, just backgrounds. So I just mixed paints together and just saw what I made. So I'm gonna make a background to show you what I've been doing. Um, and I'm gonna work, I think I'm gonna work, I'm gonna try to work from dark to light, but that hasn't always been happening because whatever, really what I'm, here's what I'm doing. Whatever my brain says, ooh, those colors are pretty, try those together. That's what I'm doing, period. There's no, there's no like rhyme or reason or any sort of anything. It's just what feels good in the moment. These colors, great, let's try those. And I'm trying to stick with, I'm trying to stick with three colors and not go over three, but you know. I love color, y'all, I love color. So, we're going to roll out 2023 with a brayer. Ha <laughs> ha, get it? And uh, we're going to pull in 2024 with a print. No? Yes? I don't know. Who knows? The world is a strange and mysterious place. So I'm using deli paper because if you recall... Uh, a few weeks ago, Darcy from Darcy's Misadventures in Mixed Media, she and I kind of went back and forth on a couple of videos about doing stuff on the gel plate, and she showed that deli paper will give you the best crinkles, and so I ordered deli paper. Oh, look at that. That's great. All right, so that's a background. I'm gonna set off to the side with my other backgrounds. I'm way over here, you can't hear me. Okay, I'm coming back. And we, let's see, what do I wanna do? There's some nice stuff on here and I wanna pull it. I think I'm gonna to try to do some metallics. Oops, I don't know how well that's gonna work. Anyway, y'all just watch. I don't know what I'm doing. <clears throat> this is not a tutorial. If anything, if you've ever been here, you know that my channel is more of a what not to do. How not to waste your supplies. Ha, ha, just kidding. Use your supplies. So anyway, Darcy and I went back and forth and she found out that deli paper worked really well. And so I went and bought some deli paper on Amazon and it finally showed up and here we are. And I have had the most fun pulling my prints on deli paper. <clears throat> a, it's in a handy dandy dispenser. That did not go straight at all. And B, it just really works super well. I really like it. Um, the only difference or the only, I don't even know if this is true or correct, is that the deli paper I got has wax on one side, which is this side that I'm touching right now. And a, that really helps because this doesn't come through and get all over my hands in the paper. But also I'm like, how is that gonna work when I want to do collage with it? Is the glue gonna stick on the wax? I don't know. Ooh, that's kind of cool. It's shimmery, shiny. All right, setting it off to the side. Uh, so I have learned a couple of things, which you may be interested in. 
One thing that I've learned is that uh, these golden fluid acrylics clean your plate. Like, you want to clean your plate? Just put a little bit of this on. I'm telling you, that's all it takes. And you will have a very clean plate. Let me show you. And I've just been making whack a doodle color combinations because I love color and I don't want to be afraid of color. And then you just lay your deli paper on there. And see, I got some crinkles down here. That's okay. It's all good in the hood. I'm going to try to pull that crinkle out so that I can get down there. Anyway, so this is what I've been doing. I got my deli paper. Wonderful call. Uh, thanks, Darcy, for all of that help. See how clean your plate gets and look at that Ooh, that's gorgeous oh i like that i kind of want to put a dark something on it let's set that one off to the side all right let me show you some that i've done i'm going to go through really quickly some that i've been pulling so i have that one i mean i'm just going to go through really fast so I'll tell you what, I'll just lay them down. You can look. I'm not even going to narrate. I did these with my mark making tools. Some of them um, came out better than others. Oh, that's distress inks on regular paper. Those are stencils. That's a stencil that I did yesterday, and that's a stencil. All right, so those are the ones that I've done. I have a ton of backgrounds over here. You can't hear me. Okay, I have a ton of backgrounds over here. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to go and do things. And we'll see what works and we'll see what doesn't. And I may do some more background things. I may, let's see, didn't I just pull a light one? Yeah. Let's see what I can do. I mean, some of these color combinations are bananas, y'all. But I just want to see what happens. I'm just experimenting and playing. And this is the way of the world. All right. So this one, what I'm going to do... There's a lot of paint on here, which is fine. I'm not, I'm not worrying about too much paint. That's the least of my troubles. Um, I'm going to, so this is just some jute twine wrapped around a, um, I think this might've had Christmas ribbon on it. And I just wrapped this jute twine over it. Whoops, I didn't mean to make that, that's okay. And then this, you know, is from an Ikea box, I think. And then I've got this little circle. And I got this little circle, little tiny circle. Well, it's not super tiny, but it's small. And then I have some bubble wrap. That up there, right there, right there. Okay, now I'm gonna grab this print. Come with me, little print, and we're gonna go. So, what I really truly want is I need lighter on top of darker, but this is gonna be darker on top of lighter, and that's fine. So I have this new tea that I'm drinking and it's got sage and mint in it. And I love the smell and the taste is interesting. It's not bad. It's, it's good. 
uh, but it is very interesting. And I can't tell if I feel like I am drinking uh, Thanksgiving dinner because I usually put a ton of sage in my sage dressing. So am I drinking Thanksgiving dinner or am I drinking a witch's brew? Because that's what it feels like. <gasps> that's beautiful. Look. Oh, this is so good. So here's what I'm, here's what I'm doing. I am making papers for collage in the new year. I want to, I want to do more collage things. Um, I've at the, in, in this month, in December, I've been collecting some, um, artsy collage magazines like this one, get it collage. Um, so it's more contemporary collage and I want to see, I kind of want to push on that and see what I can do this year. And I am doing Wanderlust this year. And so I thought I need to make a bunch of collage papers. And so here we are making a bunch of collage papers and we're just going to see what we can come up with. That looks like a lot, but it's actually an air bubble. I hope. <laughs> I hope that that's an air bubble. Yep, it was. So here we are. We are making some collage papers that we can use in the coming year. Uh, I wanted to take a moment to reflect on all of the fun and amazing things that I have learned this year. Um, you know, this is, I started my YouTube channel in March and I'll do a more like reflection, uh, video in March on my one year anniversary. Um, but I did because it is, oh, this is what I was looking for because it is the end of the year. We all are thinking about, we're looking back on the past year and thinking about, you know, what, what did we do? What did we come up with? What things felt good and right? And what things didn't, what things didn't feel super good? Maybe we want to, we want to, uh, forget those things or make sure we don't do them again. And I don't really have any art related things that didn't feel so good that I don't want to do again. Um, I'm really enjoying all of my artistic endeavors and, but I did want to take a minute and reflect back on starting this channel and meeting all of you and how wonderful it was that I did all of this. I, I started this whole channel honestly, just to meet people. That's really what I wanted. I wanted to meet people and, you know, form some connections. And my paint is drying, so let's get this on here. Quick like. Ooh, my the bottom of this one is folded, so I need to keep that in mind. There we go. All right, now we're gonna do this, and we're gonna just really push down on this. Ooh, I should have used that other piece. I have a couple of pieces that I'm using to layer and layer and layer, and I have a piece that I did this with earlier, and I should have used that layer. So as I was saying, before I got distracted with the, the doing over here, the art, the arting, uh, I just wanted to take a minute to thank everyone who has joined me on my wonderful creative adventure this year. It's so much fun. I did it to meet more creative people so that, you know, 
I could make friends. I live in a rural area. You know, we don't, there isn't like an art, I don't really even have an art store. I've got a Michael's. That's as, I mean, I have Joann's too, but really, and there is a Hobby Lobby. So, you know, I got big craft box stores, but I don't really have a, um, oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really cool. I don't really have, um, you know, we don't have classes. People don't come here to teach, you know, we're out in the middle of nowhere. So I was like, you know, I think what I need is I need, well, I need a lighter sheet of paper that I don't have. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to try this one. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm, I'm a little hesitant, actually, to even do this. So anyway, I'm trying to tell you a story, and I can't get it out because I'm too busy having to rush around. So let's just take a minute. What I'm trying to say is that I appreciate every last one of you for joining me this year. It's my first year on YouTube. I've had... Uh, I have right now... I'm sitting at... Uh, just a, a smidge over 1,700 subscribers, which is amazing to me. Uh, whoa, that actually came out way better than I thought it would. Look at that. That's neat. It pulled a bunch of stuff up on the plate. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Super cool. All right. Let's see. What can we pull this with. All right, I have these colors. So right now what I'm going to do is clean this plate with these high flow acrylics. Um, I had so much fun this year. I, I did swaps with people and I took a minute to think back to you know, who all did I swap with, when, and um, let's see if I can remember. I've got it written down over there, but I'm busy. Uh, I swapped with folks in North America, the U.S. and Canada, and I swapped with folks in, I'm going to put it on this, and I swapped with folks in Britain and Australia this year. So that is super cool and I appreciate that. And I really do wanna figure out how to do swaps um, this coming year because I do want us to do a half-ass swap. I think that that would be fun. Um, the only problem is it would really need to be a full-ass swap and everyone would need to participate and you know hold up their end of the bargain. So that's the only problem with uh, being a half-ass crafter is, you know, you half-ass a lot of things, not just crafts. So that might be a problem, but we'll see. We'll figure it out. So I'm going to try to do that, see if I can make that work. Oh, this is cool. Look at that. That would be great in a nocturnal journal, wouldn't it? Journal. I don't know why I can't speak. Oh, that's really cool. All right, that's going on the completed pile. All right, let me look at my notes. See, I got this notebook. There's notes. Uh, let's see. What all do I? What all did I want to say? Thank you to all my new subscribers of 2023. That's you. That, that's you and you and you. Oh, you too. Yep. 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 All, yeah. All of you. All of you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my swap partners over this past year, my Facebook people. Y'all, if you're on Facebook and you haven't joined the Half-Ass Crafters Club, you really need to. Um, not for any good reason other than A, that's where we're going to do the swaps and B, I think that that is such a great group of uh, talented folks and it's fun over there. And I just, 
I just adore it over there. And I really love hanging out with those people. So just saying, if you want some fun times and you want to hang out and you can post, look, if you've got a channel, you can go there and post your crafty links. I don't mind. Any crafty link is okay. Um, so it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. If you've got a crafty link, post it. Oof. This is getting out of hand over here. This looks like iodine. I feel like maybe I could just use iodine. Also, I'm wearing a white shirt and that's pretty, pretty silly if you ask me. So the half ass Crafters Club is not paid. I will never ask you for money unless, yeah, I like lose my job and can't pay the bills or something. Um, then I might ask, can I do crafts for money? I, um, so if you want to join the Facebook club, please do. I would love to have you. I think that it would be a whole lot of fun. I'm going to do some mark making with this. I feel like I have other mark making tools that I am completely and utterly forgetting about. This is, I think, a piece of drywall tape. You know what's funny? I had this, I think for like 15 years or something. It was in my other craft supplies. I don't know why some of my craft supplies came with me and others did not. I'm not entirely certain how I figured that out. Unknown at this time. Also, you really need a much larger working space than I've given myself here. Okay, we need a darker one, and I've got just the one. Here we go. Coming in hot. It's pretty dark. This is pretty light. Hopefully it's not too much of the same color. It might be, though. That's okay. We'll figure it out. It's no big deal. It's just no big deal. None of this is any big deal. So, Facebook group. Please come join us if you want. Like I said, it's free of charge. You can post links to you can post links to your Instagram, you can post links to your videos, you can post links to other people's videos that you find really cool and interesting. Hey, that's kind of neat. That's got a lot of texture in there. It's very subtle, but it's in there. Nice. I like that. Um I have my own Instagram as well. Uh it's I think it's just half-ass crafter. Maybe it's the half-ass. I think it's the half-ass crafter. Um, so come over there. Come on to Instagram. Follow me. I will probably follow you back. I mean, I can't guarantee that I'll follow you back. But, you know, I might. I usually don't follow back people if they have a private account. Um, so if you have a private account and you want me to follow you back, you may have to, like, send me a message or something. Some of these have never even been opened. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to use up my supplies. That's one reason why I am so gung-ho about this <clears throat> session. Because I think I mentioned that I'm doing Wanderlust this year. And part of that is they want you to set your intention for the year with a word or a phrase. And I, I don't know, maybe I've just been living under a rock, but I didn't, I didn't realize how many, um, I'm trying to find some, oh look, here's teeny, tiny bubbles. Those are so little. So I think I've just been living under a rock. I mean, I know about like vision boards and, you know, things like that, but I didn't really, I'd never really heard about this whole word of the year, but maybe it's just an artistic thing and I haven't been in artistic 
communities for a while. But I didn't really know about this. Why am I doing it this way? Laura, you're making a mess. What are you even doing with your, what are you doing with your life? I don't know. I don't know. No idea. No idea. So I didn't understand. I was like, what do you mean I have to set my intention for the year with a word of the year? And everybody's like, oh, I love words of the year. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I don't understand any of this. And then I realized that I think what I need is I need to make my word of the year be intention because I don't understand it. And so maybe what I need to do is learn how to live with more intention. So that's my word of the year is intention because I didn't really understand. I mean, I know what intention means and I know what people say when they're like, I'm going to set my intention for the year and my word's going to be, you know, somebody said, what did they say? Mm, try harder, I think is what they wanted their phrase to be. And I was like, yeah, I don't really have any of that. You know, I don't want to like, I don't want to be like, okay, this year, you know, money. I want lots of money. That's not, I mean, I do want lots of money. Don't get me wrong, universe. Not saying I don't want money. Oh, look at that. Ooh, there's like little curly cues from that. Oh, that's cool. Can you see? There's all sorts of colors in there. Oh, that is great. That's my favorite one so far. So that's my word of the year is intention. So I'm going to live with intention. Um, I'm going to do this by, well, I'm doing Wanderlust 2024. I, I bought that. Um, very privileged to have been able to do that. Uh, I want to, hang on, I gotta find, I, that's not the color I want. I'll take this color though. I don't even think I've opened that one. I want to, um, I just want to do more things with intention. So my hope is that I will be able to do maybe not my art with more intention because I feel like my art is already like a very um, intuitive thing. I just kind of do things and I'm like, does this feel good? Sure. Okay, great. Doing it. All right. Let's see how this works. Woo, that is dark. All right, we are going to are going to do this. Because I want to put texture on there and then I want to take this and I want to put more texture on there. I'm going to get dirty this year. I'm gonna have paint under my fingernails. That's my hope anyway. And then the other hope is that this blue is transparent enough that this green can come through. Will it? Who knows? I might even yank this off really quickly and see if I can get a relief print. Not quite. Ooh, that's kind of cool though. It looks like water. I'm pulling a lot of things that look like water. Maybe water is actually my word of the year, huh? Oh, I should have pulled it on that, shouldn't I? I think that's why I actually made it, was to pull it on that, and I didn't. So, let's redo it, y'all. 
We're just going to do it some more. Okay, so I told you my word of the year, and that's intention. I'm going to try to do a few more community challenges because um, Defember Ember was my first one, and I had so much fun with that. Like, that was a whole, whole lot of fun. Um, so I might do a few more of those challenges. And I think my biggest challenge, and the reason we're all here today, folks, is that I want to use up my supplies. So I bought a lot of supplies this year because I just got back into being artistic again this year. So all those haul videos that you saw, I am not a big shopper. I don't go and shop all the time. I'm doing that because I don't have supplies because I haven't been doing this for very long. And I just got back into it. I mean, I guess I've done it before in the past, but I just got back into doing all of this and And so I needed supplies. So I bought them. I bought the supplies and I got everything I needed and that was good <clears throat> and now I need to use all of those supplies so that is my plan this year is use my supplies so what I really want to do I do have a goal I have all of these small Liquitex acrylics that I bought and I want to use them all up. Um, I bought them during the pandemic because, you know, well, because everybody was doing that and we were here alone and we needed stuff for us and the kids to do. Ooh, look at that. And so... That's what we came up with. We came up with painting. And so I have all these acrylics and I need to, I need to use them all. And so that's what I'm trying to do is use them all so that I can go and buy some nice golden brand acrylics. And I think I'm going to get some more of the high flow acrylics because these are really nice. This is transparent yellow iron oxide. And then I also have this copper fine and I'm going to put all of this on here and I'm going to pull it with this magenta page. I don't know if you can see it. You cannot. Um, oh, you know what? I'm going to do this a little bit of this green gold too. All right, I don't know what this is gonna look like. It could look like garbage. We could all be sitting here going, ooh, bad choice, bad choice. Or we could all be sitting here going, whoa, amazing. Great choice, great choice. I don't know, about to find out. It's either gonna be bad or good, maybe a little indifferent. All right, let's see. Okay, I told you about intention. I told you about using all my stuff. Oh, I have a challenge for myself. You can join if you want. Barb is going to join me. Hi, Barb. Uh, we, Barb and I uh, discussed not buying anything new in January. No new supplies. So Barb and I are not buying anything new in January. I am going to extend my offering I'm not going to buy anything for the first quarter of the year. So from January to the end of March, all of January, all of February, all of March, I am not going to buy any new art supplies. Now, you have to hear me out. My birthday is in February. I cannot be responsible if my family buys me art supplies for my birthday. But I will not buy me art supplies. 
And if I get gift cards, I will save them until after March to use them because I need to use up my supplies. So I'm going to use my supplies and I'm going to try to do a new video series called Let's Use. So I want to make a video series called Let's Use Our Stuff. And what we're going to do is use our stuff. You guessed it. Holy macaroni. That's actually really neat. That's a great, okay, well maybe this is my favorite. They're all my favorite, y'all. They're just all my favorite. I love them all. <sighs> what do I do next? So I'm gonna do a video series called Let's Use Our Stuff. Um, I've already kind of started doing it and I would have videos that say, let's use this to make this. So um, my plan is to do a little bit more of that and to try to get through all of these Liquitex paints. That's really what I want to do. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. And hopefully it will be fun to do. I know there's somebody out there is like, oh my God, you're putting so much paint on this, on this plate, probably true. But also I don't care because I'm having fun and I'm trying to use up my supplies and that's okay. It's all right, it's okay. They're not gonna stop making art supplies. I mean, some art supplies they do stop making, that is true, but it'll be okay. Okay, that maybe that was way more than I needed, but. Okay, that was a lot. You're right, you're right, you're right, that was a lot. Okay, but here's what I wanna do. I wanna put this in. Ooh, that's kinda cool. And I've got, I've got a, I've got this paper here. I don't know what this is gonna do. This might be too similar. I'm not a fan of this piece of paper, this pull that I did. But I'm curious what this is going to end up looking like. Oh, I left a lot on the paper. Mm, it's not that great. It's too close to the same color. All right. I got this one, which I don't like at all. And I'm going to show you. That's how bad I hate it. I don't actually like hate it. All right. Let's see if this does anything cool. I probably should have pulled it originally with this one. Oh yeah, that's kind of neat. Okay, that's not bad. That looks a little bland on the video. But I promised you it's not that bland. All right, so here's what I'm learning. The golden is really good for doing your, um, your base prints. And you want the Liquitex is good for doing, it's not the green I want. Is it? No, I think it is. It's kind of warm. These are warm colors. Let's try it. I don't know. Maybe it's just going to look like mud. Who knows? It's all okay. There's no one watching except you and the entire internet. All right, there we go. Um, I want, I want to do a little bit of this. Ugh, I wish this didn't have Oh yeah, there we go. I 
I'm just trying to push the stencil in so that I can get an impression of the stencil. I really like this stencil, but it's very small, obviously. Oh yeah, that's cool. Okay, all right. Okay, all right, all right, hang on, hang on. Hold on to your horses. We're getting there. We're gonna try this light green one and it may look really bad, but we'll find out. Who knows? It's fine. It doesn't matter. All right, did I tell you about not using any more nude stuff? And yeah, okay. Uh, I told you about Instagram and that you should follow me on Instagram because that would be a lot of fun. Oh, that's kind of like uh, baby food. So cool, cool. Will we use that one? Who knows? Possibly. Can I get another print off of this onto this to make it look a little grungy? That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Let's see if I can. Oh yeah, I did. That's exactly what I wanted. Look at that. That's cool. With that gold. Oh yeah. Nice. Cool. Okay. Awesome. I'm really kind of sad that that green one didn't turn out like I wanted it to, but that's okay. All right. So I'm thoroughly dirty and uh, my area is thoroughly a wreck. Um, I think everybody's going to be very proud of me that I have a messy work surface. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and we're right at, you know, 40 minutes, so I'm gonna let this go. And um, maybe I'll edit this video and I might not. So if you sat through the whole video, thank you so much. Uh, I really do appreciate everyone being here. I really am so happy that I have met everyone out there. I've made friends. I'm just out here doing my art, making arty friends, and that's all. That's all. I, I love talking to you. If you want to support my channel, I don't I don't want you to send me any money. I mean, you can, obviously. No one's ever going to be like, stop sending me money. Um, but if you really want to support my channel, just give this video or any video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Share my videos with your artsy friends, because I know everybody else has artsy friends. I think... I'm one of the few people who doesn't have any real life. Well, that's not true. I have a couple of real life artsy friends, um, but you know, not many. So, and only one that's local. So there you go. All right. I'm going to drink my uh, Thanksgiving dinner tea. Maybe I'll pull some more prints. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Thanks for coming along on my little rambling journey here. Welcome to 2024. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this is going to be an amazingly awesome year. And let's get dirty. Let's use our things so that we can buy new things. And we'll celebrate when we're like, hey, look, I've used all these things. And now I can go buy new things. And we'll do little haul videos. It'll be fun. All right. Thanks, y'all. Happy New Year.